Hey, what's up? This is Antoine here. For this video, I wanted to cover something which I picked up quite recently, which is this, the 8 litre Patagonia Atom Sling Bag. So I picked this up a few weeks ago because I don't feel like I own a massive amount of techwear stuff, so when I put tech fits together they can sometimes look a little bit plain, so I think this should help combat that because it's, it's kind of quite small but there's quite a lot going on as well. A lot of techwear bags can be pretty expensive as well, especially stuff like the acronym 3A which retailed at a massive, I think 710 euros, something like that, whereas this is a mere 35 pounds, so a lot more affordable and I can very easily pick something like this up without too much difficulty. The most obvious interesting thing about this bag is the three-way strap. I think it looks pretty cool and it obviously helps keep things a lot more stable than if it was a standard shoulder or messenger bag. I also feel like it distributes the weight of things inside the bag a lot more evenly, so the bag kind of rests in the centre of your back as opposed to on one side, so if you've kind of weighed this up with a lot of stuff, then you're not going to get too kind of pulled down to one side and end up hurting your shoulder. Now you might think that because of all these straps it could be quite hard to get into, you know you've got to like unclip the whole thing and take it off if you want to get inside it, but that is not the case. Luckily you can just undo one of the clips and then spin it around and then you have very easy access to the main pockets of the bag. Because of their orientation as well, they're also facing upwards, so they're super easy to get into and none of your shit's gonna fall out when you're messing about with it. You might have noticed as well that at the front of the bag there is a little pocket built into the strap. This is good for a, you know, a couple of bits that you want easy access to. Annoyingly though, this is a bit too small to fit your average 2017 smartphone in. There was no way that I was going to get my Xperia Z5 in here. If you've got an iPhone 7, Galaxy S7, S8, something like that, there's no way it's getting in here unfortunately. Which is kind of annoying, I think had this pocket been a little bit bigger, it would have been way more functional. But it's a relatively minor concern, you can still get some cool stuff in here. And of course, you'll probably have pockets on your jacket and stuff as well for carrying your phone. Luckily, in the main pockets of this bag, there are quite a lot of little storage options. In the main zip compartment, there are three separate sections. You've got a little mesh one here, the main pocket of course, and towards the body you have a little side pocket also. And don't forget the little clip for attaching your keys to. There's also a mini pocket on top, which is good for a few extra bits. You could definitely get your phone in that one for example. On the front as well you do have these straps here which could be used to secure something like a water bottle. I would perhaps be a little bit careful with that though, it's the kind of thing that could slip out depending on what you're doing. If you're just walking around you'd probably be alright, but obviously not as secure as keeping it in the main compartment of the bag. This whole thing is made of recycled polyester, which I think is good. Patagonia are always pretty decent in terms of using like responsible materials and stuff, which is always a nice touch, I think. So this is all polyester. The base is this kind of ripstop type material for a little bit of added durability. And the part that's actually gonna to be touching your body is this kind of mesh-like material, which will give you a little bit of extra breathability, help stop you getting too sweaty on your back. Nobody likes having a sweaty back. So I do think that this is a really good bag if you're looking to get into that kind of tech style without really investing too much. My only concern with it, apart from the front pocket being a little bit too small for something like a smartphone, is that this does have a little bit of a kind of hiker core look to it, so I do think you have to be careful of pairing this up with other things. You know, if you wear too much which is of this sort of style, you're just going to look like you're going out for a hike. Whereas I think what a lot of people are trying to achieve with techwear is that more kind of futuristic, more urban kind of look. So by all means, you pair this up with something else that does kind of fit that look a bit more, then I think it will definitely help out. However, yeah, you don't want to go too hikery. So if you're conscious of that, you do kind of pair this up with things that do fit that more kind of futuristic or more urban look a bit more, then I think this will be a really great addition to a fit like that. So by way of comparison, this is my other bag, which I think kind of looks good in techwear fits. This is from a place called Urban Renewal in Japan. So probably not very easy for you guys to purchase, but I just thought I'd show it off anyway. There are kind of similar alternatives. You can get things that are relatively similar looking to this from uh, Adidas, from Nike. Uh, I think Reigns as well have quite a kind of minimal looking bag like this. So this big monolithic kind of look does make it look very different to the Patagonia bag obviously, and I think it certainly does have that kind of futuristic appeal. However, it's definitely not as practical. The whole front is done up with these little clips here, so it's not actually fully secure. You know, you can get your hand in the side here whilst the bag is done up. So in terms of weatherproofing and of course security, that's probably not the best. However, it does also have a side zip for getting into the main compartment, so that's kind of a nice touch. There are two main pockets in this bag. There's the big central one, which is split into two for kind of laptop and then everything else. And there's a little pocket on the top here as well. Now you don't want to put too much stuff in the top, 
because it does kind of weigh down the rest of the bag and make it look a bit awkward. But yeah, for the odd thing, it's good to put in here. I definitely rate this bag in terms of its storage. You can get a massive amount in here, which is really good. However, for a quick day trip out, the Patagonia one is definitely going to be way better. I think especially if you're in an urban environment, to be honest, it's very close to the body. Everything in there is very secure. So I don't think you're going to lose anything. No one's really going to attempt to steal stuff from you. Whereas this, I think people can get their hands in there. It's a little bit further away from the body. So yeah, definitely something to be careful of, I think. So that is pretty much it for this video. Do let me know what you think of these bags, particularly the Patagonia one. Maybe some of you will kind of think that that goes over the line a little bit too much into the kind of practical hiker type territory, and it's not really kind of tech wear enough. Or, you know, maybe you do think that this is appropriate for tech wear. Maybe you want to pick one up, use it in your fits, etc. Either way, do let me know. Thanks for all your recent support on these videos. It really does mean a lot. If you enjoyed the video, the best way to do that is to leave a like, or you can leave a comment as well if you've got any thoughts about these bags or, you know, tech wear in general. As always, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Nice job on making it all the way to the end of this video. If you want to see more tech wear stuff, I will put links around here somewhere. You guys can check those out. I've got some ACG stuff on the way as well, so that will definitely be in a video also. If you want to see that and you haven't subscribed already, then click that subscribe link somewhere along the bottom. Check it out.